On the night of February 24, 1942, the residents of Los Angeles were abruptly awakened by the sound of air raid sirens, the roar of anti-aircraft artillery, and the searchlights sweeping across the skies. The Battle of Los Angeles The United States had recently entered World War II following the attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941. The nation was on high alert for potential enemy attacks, especially along the West Coast, where fears of Japanese air or naval strikes were particularly acute. This tense atmosphere set the stage for the events that unfolded over Los Angeles. Late on the night of February 24th, air raid sirens began to wail throughout Los Angeles County. Reports of unidentified aircraft approaching the coast had prompted the alert. By the early hours of February 25th, a total blackout was ordered, and anti-aircraft batteries were readied. Searchlights probed the skies, and within minutes, they seemed to lock onto a target. For several hours, anti-aircraft guns fired into the sky, with artillery shells exploding high above the city. Witnesses on the ground reported seeing a large, slow-moving object that seemed impervious to the barrage of fire. Some described it as a blimp-like craft, while others claimed it was a cluster of smaller objects. The object appeared to move methodically across the city from Santa Monica to Long Beach, maintaining a steady altitude and speed. By dawn, the all-clear was sounded, and the mysterious objects had disappeared. Despite the intense anti-aircraft fire, no downed aircraft or wreckage was found. The official military reports later stated that over 1,400 shells had been fired, yet no evidence of an enemy attack was ever uncovered. In the immediate aftermath, there was confusion and conflicting reports from military and government officials. Secretary of the Navy Frank Knox initially dismissed the incident as a false alarm caused by war nerves. However, a subsequent Army report suggested that there had indeed been unidentified aircraft over Los Angeles, possibly enemy planes. This ambiguity only fueled public speculation. The Office of Air Force History later summarized that the incident was likely triggered by a weather balloon that had been misidentified as an enemy aircraft. The balloon theory posited that the object seen by many was an errant weather balloon, which led to the chaotic anti-aircraft response. However, this explanation did not satisfy everyone, as it failed to account for the multiple eyewitness reports describing a large, solid object moving across the sky. Newspapers across the country covered the event extensively, often sensationalizing the accounts. The Los Angeles Times featured dramatic photos with searchlights converging on an unidentified object. Headlines ranged from air battle rages over Los Angeles to Navy says faux plane no myth. The public was left to speculate wildly, with theories ranging from enemy attacks to extraterrestrial visitors. Several aspects of the Battle of Los Angeles remain puzzling. The sheer number of eyewitnesses who reported seeing something in the sky that night, including military personnel, lends credibility to the belief that there was indeed an object or objects present. Despite the intense anti-aircraft fire, no remnants of any aircraft were found, and there were no recorded crashes. This absence of physical evidence continues to baffle historians and enthusiasts alike. The conflicting statements from the Navy and the Army added to the confusion. While the Navy quickly dismissed the event, the Army took the reports more seriously, leading to mixed messages that fueled further speculation. Some have suggested that the media coverage was manipulated to downplay the seriousness of the event or to cover up a significant military blunder. The true extent of government involvement in shaping the narrative remains unclear. Over the years, the Battle of Los Angeles has been examined through various lenses, including those of military historians, UFO researchers, and conspiracy theorists. Some modern researchers propose that the object was indeed a foreign aircraft, possibly a Japanese reconnaissance plane or a submarine-launched float plane, which managed to evade destruction and return to its base. However, no Japanese records corroborate such a mission. The Battle of Los Angeles stands as a unique wartime incident, emblematic of the fear and uncertainty that gripped the American home front during World War II. It highlights the challenges of distinguishing between real and perceived threats in times of heightened alert and serves as a case study in how mass hysteria can influence public perception and official responses. Thank you for spending time with us on Spookscope today. Feel free to share your thoughts and theories in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family. Until next time, my dear Spooker, stay curious.